Hello, my technology and vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This video is a sort of review of the Vivitar DVR908MFD, a full HD 1080p camcorder that I picked up from Asda in the UK for £20 the other day with the hope that it would be sort of good enough to use for my video. Now, I just need to open it again because I have had it open but I need to take it back up because, as I shall hopefully demonstrate that of course this video, it is not that good and it is going back and I just taped it up to stop it from falling out everywhere and now I can't get the tape off. There we go. So, inside the box we have the camera which weighs absolutely nothing. So there it is. There's the tiny lens. There's a little LED light. A camera strap that I can just about fit my fingers through. And then it opens up to the worst little screen I have ever seen. And some other buttons there, which we shall look at in more detail. There is a V connector. There is a mini USB lead. Mini A to USB A. What else do we have in the box? Not a lot else, really. There is an image manager application somewhere on it, which I haven't looked at and probably won't. I'll at least download it. The instruction manual about the waste electrical engine equipment recycling scheme we have in the UK, which is responsible for the death of many a good vacuum cleaner that used to be putting skips and left on the side of the road. And the warranty certificate. So this little camera it should have some batteries left in it turn it on using the power button now it will flash up saying no card first of all that's because there isn't one so I have a 16 gigabyte just what I had lying around micro SD card inside an adapter because it takes large proper size SD cards and it slots in the bottom and if I push it in so you can see the screen there we go you'll see little icons popped up there's a the card inserted and basically this is the screen you've got your zoom buttons here which zoom in on the video <coughs> and then zoom back out again very slowly never touch these buttons it ruins it there we go and then here are the buttons for the operation I presume that deletes files I haven't tried that yet this turns little light on so you can use it to help your filming also please note the battery icon because these are brand new batteries in this for I've done a little bit of filming with it which I shall show you for testing it bunches them this button here if I can push it that sets just the scene and then this button here that one there is for the Vivi link Vivitar Vivilink software, which I presume automatically uploads stuff straight to YouTube. There you go, I push that button and that said, Do I want to delete this file? I don't because I want that, that's my testing file. We press mode, it cycles through the camera settings. Notice how it's defaulted to one megapixel, it does that in the video as well. If you press the mode button again. But we can play. Oh, how do you play? Uh, okay, 
I don't know how you play it back. We don't need to play it back. So, trying to remember how to get to the settings. There we go. So here are the main settings for the video functionality. So you can set the scene. Fairly self-explanatory. The resolution. Now, when I got this, it was at 1280 by 720, and it looked appalling. So I set it to 1920 by 1080. Quality. Normal fine, super fine. Anti-shake on or off. I got it set to off because I think it makes the video a little bit clearer. White balance, the usual white balance settings. Colour effects, standard. Sharpness, I've left on normal. Exposure, I've left on normal. ISO, I've left on auto. Metering, language. Date and time. Silent mode, it beeps at you otherwise. Auto off. Frequency. Format the SD card. TV setup. Firmware. <sighs> there we go. To record is this top button here. If I press it, you'll see the little dot comes up on the screen, and we are now recording. There we go. Look, we are recording video. Let's see what the focus is like as well. If I focus in, move it around a little bit, inside my front room with just the lights on. There we go. And then I'm going to now stop this by pushing the record button again. And then we'll play this back. And we'll see what it looks like. If I press it, you'll see the little dot comes up on the screen, and we are now recording. Here we go. Look, we are recording video. Let's see what the focus is like as well. If I focus in, move it around a little bit inside my front room with just the lights on there we go and then I'm going to now stop this by pushing the record button again so there we go as you can see it's not terrible but it's not quite good enough for what I want to use it for either so I'm going to return it and get my money back and put it towards something more useful like a tripod to use my mobile phone this is the back of the box and what it comes with I mean, for 20 pounds it's not bad but it's not good either i'll be honest and yeah because it came from Asda, it would be very easy to just return it what i did do though on a vacuum related note the other day was I used it to film myself taking a well taking apart and replacing the armature on a Hoover Senior and I'm going to play that for you now part of it will be in real time so you can see the actual quality part of it will be sped up just so that you don't have to watch the whole thing in real time really so here we go
I sped this up a little bit here because it's quite a long video actually and about 20 minutes and you know, looking back on this it's not horrific this is it stood mounted up on my tripod mount static um, the quality is not bad to be honest it's quite a nice little bird's eye camera certainly better than my little action cam that I normally use which is only 720 however and the big however and the reason that I just can't live with it is that it uses AAA batteries and just filming this which was 18 minutes all in I spent it up a little bit here killed them it went from full to pretty much flat and I can't be dealing with that every time I, mean, I could buy rechargeable batteries but I don't often do this so and the audio quality is not great enough to use either I just don't think it's quite worth it but here we go anyway look I'm here I am changing an armature because it burnt out sort of thanks to my doing but that's not for here that's for its own video so anyway it's going to go back to full speed now just for the last little bit so you can hear what the audio sounds like with a motor and then there's some other footage from the garden and outside and inside in various lighting conditions Charlie! Where's Ch Charlie? What are you doing? Not even sunflower? No. Not the sunflower. And that concludes my video of the Vivitar DVR 908 MFD. I'm afraid it's a no for me. For £20, it's quite good, but for what I want to use it for. I'm afraid it doesn't quite cut the mustard in a way that my current phone doesn't. It's also the build quality is pretty bad. This whole bit here is loose. This screen doesn't do anything apart from tilt backwards and forwards. The carry strap doesn't 
barely fit my fat fingers into it. And the worst thing of all is it takes three AAA batteries and you can buy them only in twos or fours. So you're always going to have odd batteries. It rinses through them. These were quite expensive. And it's already on the Hoover CD video, it was showing low battery. Turning it on at the start of this video, it went to full, then went down one. I imagine if I go and put these batteries into one of my daughter's toys, they will work absolutely fine. I did also experiment with taking this, this bit just pulls off. There we go. And then if you undo those four screws, this outer ring comes off. And I was hoping it would allow more light into the sensor, but it didn't really do anything. So that's a bit of a bit of a no-go there. If it ran off the mains, it might be slightly better. You could get away with it. But I'm afraid as it stands, it's a no from me. I'll keep the SD card though, that would be handy. I might use that in the ThinkPad. Because I bought an IDE to SD card adapter. So I can make myself a cheap SSD for it. So, I can't even show you this cable because our TV doesn't have aux in. And I don't know where my SCART adapter is. So I can't even show you that. I won't show you that because I'll just take the SD card out and put it in my laptop. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.